Hello there. <laughs> How are you? I'm just wondering where you are. I thought you'd be home before me. Yeah, I know the feeling. I had a crazy day too. We got the big shipment in. We got most of the order done. I had to stay late. But that's okay, because then I have less of a mountain to deal with uh, tomorrow. So it'll work out. But uh, I thought you'd be here before me. But yeah, I guess you got slowed down too. Uh, I got here. I'm checking your messages. I can see the screenshots you sent me. So I know you're, I know what car you're in. I know the license plate number. I got the driver's name. I got all the stuff. And don't you like the trick? I check you out. You send me your location through Google. And I am now actually watching you moving. <laughs> I'm, wat I'm tracking you on your way here. Mm-hmm. Then I know exactly where you are. I know exactly when you're going to get here. So that's a good thing. <laughs> exactly. You already know I'm your bodyguard. Do you? Good. I'm glad you like it. Because I am your bodyguard. Nobody bothers my girl. Nobody. How's the ride so far? Okay, you guess? You guess? You don't have a smart-ass driver, do you? You remember the last time? Last time I was talking to you, you had the smart-ass driver? Remember what happened? Fucking freaked him out, didn't it? Because I know where you are. I can see where you are. I can be in my car in like two minutes. And I can get to you in, like, probably four minutes. Maybe less if I fucking put the hammer down. Freaked his ass out, didn't it? He didn't fucking expect that. He was getting all cute with you and everything. And then he pulls up at the lights. And guess who shows up at his door? Me. Sure fucking freaked him out when he saw me. That was bullshit. You know, nothing pisses me off more. You're just trying to get a fucking ride home. And then you get some driver and he starts to get cute and he starts to get flirty and all this shit. Uh-uh. No way. That doesn't fly. And when he was doing that, I figured, screw it. Well, maybe you thought it was a little over the top, but I didn't. I hopped in my car, met you at that intersection, walked up, knocked on his window. And when he rolled it down, I just said, what the fuck do you think you're doing? And you were in the back seat. <laughs> Look on your face. Oh, my God. It's not like I won't do it again. Hey, if this driver is giving you any kind of a fucking hard time, you just tell me. I'll hop in my car. I will meet you in, like, minutes. And I will straighten his ass out. Nobody pisses off my girl. Nobody. I want you here. I have everything set up to pamper the hell out of you. I even got your tacky fuzzy slippers because I know you've had a hard day. And when you get in here, I'm going to get you all cozy. I'm going to make you something to munch on because you might be a little snacky. You know. Besides, we got to have snacks if we're watching a movie. Is this guy taking the long way? I'm watching where you are. Does he know where he's going? Okay, well, if he starts doing any weird, you know, if he starts deciding to take any creative shortcuts, then fucking tell him to straighten out. Let me talk to him. There's a very direct way to our place. That's the way he should be taking. <laughs> sure, put him on. No, it's okay. All right, 
I just don't want, I, I don't want him overcharging you. I don't want any like, you know, creative shortcuts or bullshit like this. He just needs to bring you fucking here so I can take care of you. All right. No, I'm staying on the phone till you get home. Yes, I am going to escort you home over the phone. <laughs> oh, man, what a bloody day. Everything went okay. Like, it was okay. I mean, we got that order in. It all came in. Everything was going great, and we started putting everything together. And then they sent some wrong parts, and we got into some snags, and then it just it turned into, like, a shit show. So... And they had to put up with me talking about you. Because the whole time I was complaining about it. I'm like, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> My girl's probably going to be home already. And I'm running late. And then I find out that you're running late too. So it's not a bad thing because then, you know, we're we're almost getting home at the same time. You're not, you're not that, I mean, I'm looking at right where you are. You're not that far behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know you'll get here. And I will be ready for you. Is there anything uh, specifically that you want? You can have anything you like. Name it. <laughs> you already have me. Trust me, you already have me. That's why I'm your crazy bodyguard. I know you kind of like it. I can't help it. You know what happens to me if anybody bothers you or annoys you or does anything? I fucking lose my shit. <laughs> I know. Well, I can't help that. You know, I'm nuts about you. So, I go out of my way to make sure you're safe and nobody annoys you. Nobody bugs you because if anybody does, they got to deal with me. And they do not want to do that. They don't want to have to deal with me. <laughs> I know. I know. I keep thinking of his face. Because I heard, I mean, I could hear him talking. And I could hear him putting on this whole bullshit like, Oh, yeah, tell your boyfriend I'm not worried about him and this kind of crap. And then when I showed up and I knocked on his window, oh, my God, I thought he was going to shit himself. I almost pulled him out of his fucking car. I know, I know, I didn't, I didn't feel like dealing with the cops or anything like that. So I just gave him a nice little warning. But I think he got the message. And we complained, too. So, and... We got our money back. We didn't pay the fuck. Anyway, you know, as long as this guy's cool, your, your driver's going okay. Like he's he's getting you. I mean, I'm watching you. He's you're on your way. If he gets cute or anything, you let me know. I'll fucking be there in like three minutes, less. I'll get there fast. Okay. 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 <laughs> I told you I can't help it. I'm very, very protective when it comes to you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get whatever you like ready. Did you want anything to drink? Hot drink, cold drink, anything? Okay, you got it. I'm on it. Okay. I can stay on the phone with you. I'll do it. I'll do it like when you're here. Mind you, I'm t hold on. Maybe I can multitask. I'll try to get <laughs> try to get it ready while I'm talking to you. You sure? You don't want me to stay on the phone with you? I know I don't have to, but I can, and I don't mind. I mean, I am watching you. I can see where you are. I can see you're on your way here. So, I mean, I'm going to keep an eye on that. If you want me to stay on the phone with you, I will. I mean, okay, if you want, I will, I will get, 
I will get <laughs> all of the stuff I'm going to spoil you with ready. Uh, and I'm keeping an eye on the phone. I can, you know, I'll keep an eye where you are. I can see your ETA now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, get your drink ready. I'm going to get your slippers ready. I'm going to get everything ready. And then if you're not here in this amount of time, I'm going to call you back. And I'm going to say, where the fuck are you? And then I'm going to come out with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire looking for you. <laughs> I know. I love you too. Okay, you should be here very, very soon. I will see you then, okay? I'm right here. My phone is on. I'm keeping an eye on exactly where you are. You can just call me back if you want to. And I will see you very, very shortly, okay? All right. I might just call you back anyway. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go get the stuff ready. I'll talk to you very soon, okay? All right. Love you too. Bye-bye. <laughs>